Have you ever heard about cheap grace? It could be applied to those who play hide and seek with God's grace to live in sin. In Romans chapter 6, Paul describes such behavior, and we read certain verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in, in it any longer? A life for Christ means to be deaf to sin, but it doesn't mean it will happen again. It becomes hateful, and not a pleasure, and for this reason, to Paul, it makes no sense to someone claims to be Christian but live in a sinful way. Sin must be a chance accident, not a habit. And from verse 3, he continues the death and life metaphor, talking about baptism. Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the death through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. My friend, to know Jesus is the beginning, and at the same time ends, it is an absolutely goodbye to an old existence, and the start of a new landmark, where death gives place to an all new life, and the old replaced by the new. It is that marvelous moment, when weakness ceases to exist, and a new walking into the new life road starts. Okay.